Hello Year 5 and welcome to your reading skills lesson. Um, for the next couple of weeks we're going to carry on with using read theory as our reading skills lessons. Um, now the main reason for that is that the book that we would have been reading in class, um, for copyright reasons I can't read it to you or we'll take pictures of the page over YouTube and put it in the public domain. Um, so until we try to work out a way around that and we're hoping that we've got a method that we can use, uh, we just need to put it in place. Um, we'll be carrying on with the read theory for now. Most of you have got your logins. Um, so if you don't have your login or if you've forgotten your login, please email the um, class email at the bottom of the video and I can get that to you as soon as possible as well. Um, we would normally spend 30 minutes on reading skills in school. So I recommend you spend the same amount of time um, on it there for you. Um, the harder the texts that you're getting, the more points you end up with. And on a Friday, what I'll start doing is putting up a bit of a celebration video where uh, we will have a star reader each week, um, which might be the person who's done the most. It might be the person who's um, got the most correct answers. It might be the most person who's progressed the most. Uh, it will be different each week. But in every subject, what I'll try and do is I'll try and share some really good examples of work. Um, so that's something to look forward to on a Friday. What I'll do now is I will just remind you how to log on to Read Theory if you've forgotten and just the general idea around it. So Read Theory gives you texts that are aimed at your ability, basically. So it gives you that pretest that we did a long time ago, um, and then it gives you a text that is in your... Um, uh, at the appropriate level for you so that it's challenging but accessible. So if you go to Google, you go to readtheory.org and it takes you to this screen. Now, what you need to do is you need to go log in. You don't need to sign up, you're already signed up. So log in at the top right, and then you put your username in. Most of your usernames will be in that same sort of way. And you put your password in. Again, most of you will have the same password, but I won't say it on here just in case. And once you're in, you go straight to a text. And I think this is the same one that it gave me before, yeah, because I haven't finished it. So you can read through that text. Here it gives you some information about what level the text is. Um, so grade three level, depending on where your abilities are. Sometimes they do fluctuate and go up and down, depending on how you've done in the previous one. And then on the right hand side, you've got questions. So according to the passage, can I move my face out of the way? Uh, both comic books and graphic novels either are sure are always about superheroes, have no educational value, or have both art and words. So let's go with have both art and words. Submit. If I get it right, it comes up green. If I put it as wrong, it comes up with red, but it also tells me what the right answer was and tells me where the correct answer could have been found and how I could have found it. So it's a really, really good tool. Um, keep using it as much as you can. Like I said, we would normally spend half an hour on this in school, but if you want, it's something that is quite accessible um, if you've got a loose moment and it's really, really important for you to keep developing your reading skills. Um, something else I would say is that Whatever books you are reading at home, just keep reading as much as possible, whether it's rereading books you've already read, whether it's reading books to your siblings, whether it's listening to siblings read to you, read as much as you can. Um, so the more reading you do, the more you will develop in that. Um, good luck with that, and I look forward to seeing your progress on Read Theory.